Hi! Today we're going to uh, visit Bessie's farm stand and we're going to be looking for some fresh garlic for our next recipe. So why don't we head inside and see if we can get some. Hey Kathy and Dee, how are you? Hey Chris, how are you? All right. So we're, here we are at Bessie's. And uh, we're going to be looking for some garlic for our next uh, cooking class. And uh, I thought that uh, coming here and getting some uh, nice organic garlic would be great. Well, you have once again come to the right place. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and this, we planted 20 pounds last year, and this is what we have left. Oh my gosh, um, out of 20 pounds? Out of 20 pounds of garlic. Of what we planted, so we, our yeah. harvest was probably oh. 100 pounds? Yeah, I, yeah. I'm not oh sure. Oh my gosh, yeah. oh my gosh, that's amazing. So why don't you tell me a little bit about, uh, tell me the history of this, what, what, what kind of garlic is this? I know there are different types of garlic. Yeah. You know, when you had to plant it. Um, okay. Um, is this German hardy? German extra hardy. Extra hardy. And we get our garlic from Fedco, which is the main organic growing. Where, where are they located? Um, Clinton. Yeah. Yeah. In, Clinton, in Clinton, Maine. And it is definitely worth a field trip to go up there because they have a big warehouse and you can get all sorts of organic stuff. But we get our garlic and we order it early. We have to order this in August in order to get... Oh, I they, believe it was earlier than that. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we pick it up, um, it, when did we pick it up? October? Mm -hmm. And we plant it. Kathy, tell them. Well, we plant ours in raised beds, um, so it's really nice, loose soil. And in the fall, we put um, a load of llama manure and leaves or leftover seaweed that's still on, a lot of organic material, and turn it over, and we separate these okay. so that each clove is like a seed. Oh, and we okay. so you don't plant this whole thing. You don't no. plant the whole thing. This is a head of garlic, and and a head usually has between four and six cloves. Well, of, for, of this variety, it's three or four. I think some can have many more, but we really like this variety because of the large cloves. You can't separate it now. <laughs> oh, let's see what I can do here. Right, it is really, really, wow, that's a that's a big yeah. that's a big clove. Which is one of the reasons we like this variety. Hmm. And so it's, it would be planted with, with this little butt end down and probably a good three or four inches, yeah. would you say? Yeah. Okay. And then covered. Um, and then we wait until, we just did it this week, we actually. When the ground freezes, then we mulch heavily with either straw or seaweed or So you leaves. plant it in the fall. You plant it yes. in the fall. October, November. Yep, October, yes. November. And you don't want to mulch it till the ground has frozen because the mice will get in and nibble. Um, oh, so it's not just uh, people that like garlic. Right, right, right. <laughs> so we actually, we just mulched this this week before it turned 15 degrees, and it's all ready. And then next spring... And now we don't do one thing yep, to it. Just leave it alone. Leave, it alone. leave it alone. And then next March, April, as it thaws out, we'll uncover, we'll pull the straw and uh -huh. the seaweed off, and you'll start seeing little green, little green shoots coming oh, up. Okay. And it's... So far, it's virtually foolproof. No bugs, no fungus. No, we've been very lucky. I mean, every single clove we planted last year, right. we got ahead. Okay, so now, um, there are different types of garlic, and I thought I had read somewhere that the stronger the flavor of the garlic, the more beneficial it is. is talk to me about some too. of the benefits of garlic. It's the sulfur content, I guess, and the more, the stronger it it tastes and smells the more sulfur, and the sulfur is what is the component that is healthy for us. But there, there are all kinds of claims, everything from lowering cholesterol yeah. to being a, a, a general broad-spectrum antibiotic, right. as well as being an antioxidant. I mean, it, I, you can't go wrong, and I'm guessing it's probably best eaten raw. Well, and I've also just learned this has been a particularly bad flea season because last winter was so mild uh -huh. and I've heard that if you can get a dog to eat a clove of garlic, fresh garlic a day, he won't have fleas. <laughs> so, <laughs> <it's getting deep. laughs> That's right. Well, um, thank you very much. I think um, I think we'll take a couple cloves of this garlic okay. and um, we'll take it into the kitchen and 
uh, we'll we'll make a video and hopefully Wonderful. good we'll take a look at and it. You'll be healthy too, right? That's right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. It's good seeing you. All right.